Hey there, Chad with Prodwell's customer success team. In this video, we're going to go over the task page and all the different functionalities therein. From the home screen here, you can see the go to task tile, and then you can also see that I do happen to have an overdue task. If I click this little overdue icon, it will take me to the task page to my tasks specifically into the past. This is saying any task that is in the past, and it's also going to hide all of the completed tasks that are in the system and uh, just only show me ones that are not marked as completed. Uh, if I look at this, it shows me that I have a get the building permit submitted for this tile service job here for uh, Biff Tannen, and it's a lead source of Google tile service is the project type. I can see that I'm the project manager of this job, and additionally, I'm also the worker assigned to this specific task. I have the address of the job site, contact information or email of the customer. And I actually, I already did this earlier today, so I'll go ahead and mark it as completed. And what you'll see is we have no overdue tasks and we are also hiding the completed tasks here. So it went away off the screen. Uh, what I could also do is show completed tasks. And in this case, what that did is it shows me all of my tasks in the past that I have marked off completed as just a nice history document of everything that I've accomplished here. Now, I could also show specifically for today what's going on using the today drop down here to change the, um, the span of number of days of tasks that I'm looking at. I could also look at the next seven days, 30 days, or all upcoming tasks, or even unscheduled tasks. And right here where it says my tasks, there's a couple other options. I could look at my projects or everyone's tasks if you're an administrator. In this case, I'll look at my projects. And the common denominator here that you'll see is that every single one of these tasks, I'm the project manager of. So this will show me everything that's going on on a job site that I'm responsible for. And it allows me to keep a simple list of everything that I need to be aware of for today, tomorrow, or whatever time span that I've selected. In this case, I can see I actually have an overdue task for one of my contractors, Raylan Givens Plumbing Company. Actually, they did get this toilet reinstallation done. I'll go ahead and mark it off on their behalf, and we're off to the races. And then additionally, we can as well schedule things from here. So I could simply add a new event, and in this case, I'll just go ahead and add a generic task for another person within the company. I'll put in um, task, for Ben is going to be the name of the task here. And then we could also schedule it to Ben. So we'll select the employee and we'll go ahead and go to Ben Wyatt here. And then we'll choose today and we'll make it an all day task. So just an eight to 5 PM. Uh, the other option here is select and schedule. What this will allow you is when you're scheduling this to just double check and view scheduling conflicts. If you click it, it will actually take you over to the schedule page where you can pick a specific day and just click on the schedule and it'll apply this task to that day. Uh, that's another video that we'll have for you. So you can go ahead and check that out. Um, but we'll just go ahead and move on to the next box here, which is to associate this with a project or a lead. In this case, I actually want to associate it with the Bob Vance Vance refrigeration project. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what you'll see is it's going to adopt the color of the project and additionally the address of the project and uh, you'll see that it is also saying that the color is the same as the project or I could select a specific color. So let's go ahead and uh, say we're done with this task. We'll see it's created the task for Ben is the task name and we'll actually go over and filter the schedule as if we're Ben and look at it from his, his perspective. So this little filter icon allows you to type in information and search here or you could also just simply click on one of these subcategories and I'll click on employees here and click on Ben. And we'll see here that it's showing up as a task for Ben is the, the name and the project name is here. And we could even look at it from the mobile perspective. This is what it looks like here in mobile where we're just, uh, you know, here he could go ahead and check off the task. He can see that his project manager is Tom Haverford, that he's the one who's assigned. Um, um, and you know any other information that it was a Google ad, tile service, it's an active job, etc. Um, if we go ahead and maximize this, we could also see that if we wanted to, we could click on the quick options here and open up the communication channel. Then we could put any sort of note here and that note on this or that comment on this would send a message directly to Ben's mobile phone where he'll get a notification and then whoever the project manager is will also get a notification. They can message each other back and forth, essentially real time organizing their communication by job and by scope of work. And that's the tasks page here in Prodrill. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.